Welcome to another edition of the uh, Roundtable. Paul Dingaman here. We're going to be talking about uh, an election coming up the uh, just a few weeks, March the uh, 8th. It is a Tuesday. It is happening here in the city of St. Clair. And we've got two gentlemen who are going to tell us about what's on that ballot. The mayor of the city of St. Clair, Mr. Oh. William Bill Cedar. City Superintendent Mike Booth, oh, welcome oh. To, to both of you. Uh, March the 8th is the presidential primary, and people can come in and vote for the Republican or the Democrat, I think. I don't think you can split your ticket, and I don't think there's anybody that could do that, maybe some magician or something. But in addition to that, there's one other item on the ballot this time, and it's regarding uh, streets. And let's talk about what that is. Your Honor? All right, thank you, Paul. On March 8th, is the primary for the state of Michigan and also the city of St. Clair has a ballot question for the people of St. Clair to renew an existing tax that is due to expire. There's a 2.49 millage on our books right now that we are not asking people to give us anything additional. This will only be for 10 years. It will not be forever. It will be for 10 years. And it is, we're asking for a renewal of an existing tax that is due to expire. We will take that 2.49 mils and put it exclusively to roads okay. in all three wards. And our goal is simply this, um, to take that money and each year look in wards one, two, and three, uh, look at it economically as to which roads we can do uh, a total reconstruct on or if it just needs a mill and a fill or something, whatever, a grind or whatever, or a cap on it and we will spread it evenly across the first, second, and third wards. Um, now, some people may ask the question, is my road going to get done? Right. I want my road done first. You want your road done first. I, that, that, that can't be answered right now. I, I don't, this money will not get every road done that needs to be done. We have 29 miles of road in town, and this 2.49 is going to generate close to half a million dollars. Uh, in, in its 10 years or each year? Each year. Each year. Okay. And I would just say to people, you know, the street in front of my house probably will never get done. I shouldn't say never, but not in this 10 years. Mm -hmm. But there are streets out there. Uh, take a look over by the library and by the gas station, Cass Street. Take a look at 3rd Street from Thornapple North. Take a look at Trumbull Street. Trumbull Street's an embarrassment. I'm embarrassed of that street. Look at Thornapple Street north of or west of 9th, south 9th over on uh, south of Clinton, Goff Street. Um, but we all eventually drive on those streets. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't tell you where all my relatives are going to end up living or where I'm going to have to live. Roads need to be fixed. Right. And the state did put some money towards roads, but it is nowhere near enough for any of the municipalities that are getting uh, road money. We, we and need most some of help. those monies are going to go to the, the state highways and county highways. By the time it gets down to municipalities, there's not going to be a lot left. No, no. So we're asking people, this is not a new tax, and some people have said, well, but if it expires in November and we're going, to re, we're going to create this, recreate it, it is kind of a new tax. I'm not sure that's how to look at it. I think if it's, if it's on the books now and we're not adding anything to it, we're just asking the people, look it, just let us keep it on the books. Um, what did we say? It's in the average home in the city of St. Clair with the SEV, it's a $14 a month is what it amounts to. Um, okay. So the $14 per month, $170, I guess it's close to a year maybe, mm -hmm. um, that will be used to fix the roads. It does a number of things. It increases the value of the community. It, it makes it a better place to live. It, it makes you proud of your town. Uh, I mean, there, there are multiple, multiple reasons to vote for it. Everybody is against having their taxes raised, but at some point you have to take some personal responsibility to help your community, I think. Yeah, these roads are not getting fixed, and the state is not giving any municipality enough money to really do what they need to do. And this is, this is not going to be the end-all, be-all to it, because with 29 miles of road, if we, fix three roads each, if, if we can fix three roads each year, one in each ward, if we can mm -hmm. do that, um, by the time we get through the 10 years, we're st we still have to get back to the roads we haven't got to yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we have to start somewhere. We have to, we have to get, a, get some, a program going here. And that's what we're asking the people to do. So it's a simple ballot. 
won't take you long to vote. You can vote absentee if you want. It's presidential, Republican, presidential, Democrat, and a ballot item for the city of St. Clair. Yes. Mike, you brought along uh, some, some facts and figures for us. Why don't you go through that for us on here? Okay. Again, just to recap what Bill uh, mentioned, the um, average homeowner is uh, $70,641 per house. Um, annual cost would be uh, 17591 which is, again, about $14 per month. Um, the, um, I want to share a couple things. First of all, uh, some of the information, more details that uh, residents may want, hmm. they can go to either City Hall and ask to see myself or the, the clerk, um, and we have information there that will give them detailed information as far as local roads and major roads. Um, and if they need further explanation, they can do that. Or they can also go to the city's website, and we have some road information out there as well. Okay, Again, great. it gives you What's more detail. What's the city detail. website? Uh, city's website is uh, www.cityofstclair.com. All one word, cityofstclair.com. Dot com? Dot com. And there's no dot, no ST period. It's just Saint, City of St. Clair. One solid word, yes. One solid word. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Um, one, other, one piece of information you will see out there that I thought was probably a good thing to share um, as we did our talk today was um, the city uh, used uh, Anderson Eckstein Westrick, our engineers, mm -hmm. uh, to do a road study. Um, again, I think a lot of people want to know uh, what condition is my road in? Uh, how does it compare to others, right? Um, it's interesting when you look at the, the study. In 2008, we, uh, the study showed that 42% uh, of the roads were good, 21% um, were fair, and 37% were, were poor. Um, flip forward to 2015, when the study was done, uh, the good decreased from 42% down to 23%. Wow. And the fair uh, increased, obviously, with some of the good roads dropping down, uh, from increased from 21% to 29%. So, Again, the, the condition of the roads, they're not improving. Right? Correct. Okay. Um, when was the last time we had major roads, the 6th, the 9th streets? That's at least 10 years, isn't it? Um, yes. We, um, we did some road improvements in 2005 and 6. And, and nothing's been done since then, except uh, patching. patching. Patching and some, some small segments of streets, yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, with the Anderson x Trine West Street uh, study, um, again, a, a neat piece of information is, it's not really neat, it's, it's actually kind of scary. Um, the condition of the roads and the amount of money that it'll cost, um, if we fixed all the roads that were considered uh, poor or fair, it would cost $28.5 million. $28.5 and and million? Yes. That uh, got and, staggered and, me there. And, and just so you know, the biggest piece of that is uh, roads that are considered are rated a one to three. Mm -hmm. um, all the roads are rated one through 10, 10 being the best. Um, one through three is t almost $21 million of that. Wow, that's just staggering. That would be your Trumbulls, Cass, Golf, mm -hmm. those kinds of streets. But we so, have to do something. We do need to do something. Um, and this would, um, this would start the process. Um, if, if passed, the, the millage would be 470,000, almost 500,000 a year, which, um, actually would do some nice work. Mm -hmm. Okay. You brought along some pictures. Let's take a look at a couple of those. Here. Go back to the beginning. Okay, there yeah. you go. What street is that? South 9th. South 9th Street. Okay, from uh, Look, Clinton Avenue looking to, Fred Moore. to Fred Moore. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty bumpy. It is rough. Rough shape. Uh, on that road, we did a little, uh, there's a little road there, I think. It's, is it Cedar, maybe, where it goes dirt? I think we did a, a little patch job there, but mm -hmm. uh, it obviously needs to be, to be redone. Okay. It working? There you Whoop. go. Oop. Skipping over streets. This is, uh, you can see the patching along the right side of the curb there. That's that's pretty rough stuff, isn't it? It's rough shape. There we go. Up in the Highlands uh, section of street. Those streets have never been. Uh, and it's from the day they were put down, that, that's it. Those, those are original streets, aren't they? Yeah. In the Highlands. This is uh, Sinclair Street. Yep. And again, those, that was the Jackson subdivision, and that was a, probably the original streets, too. I don't think they've ever been touched. So those roads are probably 20 years old, at least, yep. 20, 25 least, years old. Yeah. So. And, Paul, we're not going to stop looking for grant money. We'll okay. still apply for every grant money we can do. We're, we're working on this uh, scrap tire mm -hmm. grant that we've been working on for the last year or so. I mean, we're not going to stop doing that, but we need 
we need this millage to, to get a significant program started. <laughs> so you, you it, it just keep looking for grants. Uh, you, you don't know there may be some some crumbs left on the table by the state, but that project doesn't get started till 2017, does it? With the state money, right? So we've got to stand up and take responsibility for our own neighborhood. Exactly, and, and you know, I, people of St. Clair are proud of St. Clair, and correct. The roads are definitely in need of repair, and this is a, and this is a continuation of an existing millage. This is not an additional, and it's only for 10 years. Okay. That's what we're asking for. Okay. Very good. Uh, I think we've uh, we missed anything? I think we've covered it. I think the big point is you can vote absentee. Uh, the date of the election itself is Tuesday, May, or March the 8th. Tuesday, March the 8th. Polls are open their normal hours from uh, 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. And uh, there's the three precincts the three wards and go and uh, go and support your city i guess is the bottom line yep thank you that's okay. what we need your honor always a pleasure to see you my pleasure paul thank you paul mr superintendent thanks to all your workers out here they yep. do a great job and you know their her dad i had her dad in school oh my god she's gonna go home and tell him that too yeah. <laughs> that's about it for this edition of the uh, roundtable until next time i'm paul Dingaman. see you soon